what is going on guys in today's video we are going to be doing the ultimate what is going on guys so we're here in my location again it is about 51 degrees uh, it's chilly i'm underdressed didn't know and today's video we're going to be doing a last revision of the ultimate dad hatchback in the form of a mark 7 golf r 2017. Um, it's been a quite a bit of a long winter 30 but we're gonna go ahead and just walk around the car and give you guys a look so far dual cameras right dual vision of the car itself now this car received its ultimate test right the deciding factor which is the diono seats that you see right in front of you and from here this is kind of like the ultimate deciding factor of whether or not you know uh, this car is going to work for us in the long haul a uh, long story short it works but with its limits and again i stated so many times before this car is great as a family vehicle as a, for city dwellers especially and especially for a family of three now with the family of four with our twins we are pushing it but overall here is the state of the vehicle you have uh, a dirty car but you have the inner wedge 660 i've done many videos of this it's holding up pretty well actually not pretty well very well indeed uh it lasted the winter and overall uh haven't really driven it much to be quite honest haven't really left the house uh for that matter but here it is right and we are going to move to in a way the car seats first so i'm going to go ahead and move the camera to a different angle all right so next we have the car seats now this is the ultimate deciding factor let's go ahead and open up the golf rear door and if you take a look this rear door is pretty good in terms of opening or the amount of space when you open it quite when you open it up so when you open it up there is quite a bit of space right between so that we could go ahead and fit the infant carriers in back then when we have it now since the girls are toddlers we are using fixed position seats and they have been uh they had some trouble transitioning to these fixed position seats because even though they're larger and more comfortable mommy's not sitting in the in the middle anymore so they're thinking that we're not with them so that's why we have the mirrors here to go ahead and keep tabs of them but overall i'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit of the detail of the diono and the reason why we picked them right but overall first things first a quick tip get these when they're on sale they run multiple sales throughout the year especially with black friday sales uh, that's when we pick them up uh, they run for msrp around almost 500 i think 400 plus tax this is a 3q series and this is that's the uh in the black the jet black that's the 3r series so the 3q series has the uh well first of all they have a um uh, a rebound bar that comes with all 3q series and they have safe plus engineering basically it goes above and beyond the highway um, uh, safety and their tests so uh, in terms of rollover side impact and uh, rear facing they go above and beyond the uh, the safety standards um, so right here we have uh, specific to the diono 3q series the side management impact pod where it disperses the kinetic energy behind the seats and compared to the 3r series i'm not going to go completely into it uh maybe i'm going to leave the specs in the in the description down below but in terms of the the 3q series versus 3r series this is going to be much more heavy duty much more heavier 32 pounds versus the 28 pounds so four pounds heavier all right overall though it is much more comfortable than the infant carriers and I want to touch up on lastly kind of like the um, the accessories that diono offers starting with the ultra mat now the ultra mat right here it's uh it's grippy material here and kind of like a ballistic nylon waterproof material on the top and overall this combination prevents slipping and also prevents any type of indentations on your leather now my only complaint about it is for white leather oyster leather or like kind of like a tesla type of uh you know lighter color leather it might go ahead and 
and I don't know, uh, mark up your, your, your interior uh, during the summer when it heats up. So uh, don't quote me, but that's, that's the type of feel I, I think um, is going to go ahead and kind of ruin much more lighter leather. For us, the Volkswagen leather is, 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 is whatever, right? Um, but it, it's fine so far. Definitely protects the car. And last but not least, this is a game changer right here. It might look simple. It's kind of like a high density foam material, the Ono. It's called the angle adjuster. And from here, it's, it's not a total complete uh, drastic difference, but if you are missing maybe a few inches of leg room, let's say like an inch or two, this will go ahead and create that inch or two leg room for the front driver or the front passenger. So what this basically does is this will go ahead and help angle your rear facing seats more upright. Now speaking about the angle adjuster, this is gonna be a great segue to talk about the front seat passenger or front seat driver uh, leg room space. Because of the angle adjuster, I'm able to go ahead and sit the Ziono more upright, meaning that I have a little bit more room. So for me, it created about an inch or two to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just test it out. This is perfect for me, all right? But if you are a driver that is, I don't know, um, I would say max 5'8", I think that'll be a problem. So anything above 5'8", I have a friend who's 5'9", maybe I'll go ahead and, and have him sit in here before I edit the video and let him you know, check out the, the driver's seat. But uh, I'm not tall at all, right? So this is perfect for me. Now moving to the rear of the car, this is where we have our, one of our favorite finds for during the winter courtesy of wifey who found this this is the zoe twin stroller now if you guys watch our previous videos in regards to fitting a double stroller in a mark 7 hatchback it's a quite a task why it's because of the whole the, all the space it took to go ahead and disassemble the bumble ride and then reassemble it once you take it out but it's so easy to take this out. And I especially like the fact that you don't have to, in the Bumble Ride, we took out the wheels in order to even close the hatchback. And we had to stand it right up again. But here it is. This is the, um, the Zoe Twin Stroller. Uh, am I going to open this? All right, let's open it up. Give you guys a quick look. It's very light, 19 pounds. Basically, uses. All right. So usually it's much more fluid when I open it, uh, but here it is. I'm not gonna go again complete detail about the uh, the, uh, the unit itself, but if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Uh, I remember in the forums, I think uh, I was searching whether or not uh, they had double shoulders that uh, that would be able to fit the rear hatch, and I don't think I found the answer. Um, but here it is. Here's my answer to it. Now, in order to in order to in order for everything to fit, I don't have to again. I don't have to manipulate anything or or take off the wheels. And you can see right here. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera. All right. So here is the Golf hatchback space in the Mark Seven, similar to the Mark Six, similar to the Mark Eight that recently released. It's not much compared to an SUV, but it's pretty impressive for a, a, a little hatchback that could, right? But uh, we have enough space with this new unit, with this new uh, stroller to fit kind of like a diaper box, additional diaper boxes, uh, grocery bags. Now we don't really need to go ahead, unless it's a really big haul, we don't really need to go ahead and fit the grocery bags into the cargo box. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate how I, uh, how I dismount or, um, uh, put away the stroller basically i just grab onto this pull and then make sure it's aligned like so and then have everything have the handlebar secure the sides and push it in so the good thing about the zoe stroller is the fact that i don't have to stand it upright i could kind of place it flat it gives me clear view throughout the hatchback i could use the privacy cover and not have to worry about it going to the cargo box or, or whatnot so after i put everything away just push it in like so make sure the wheels the wheels here to kind of align it to make sure uh, it's pushed in like correctly and everything and i still have a ton of space above the privacy cover 
we'll go ahead and take this cryosleep cover down to give you guys a look. So I still have a, a good amount of space here to put whatever I want. And then after I'm done, I can just close the hatch. All right guys, so this is, this is our car. This is the Mark 7 Golf R in its final state. The ultimate test is the Diono rear-facing car seat. Uh, fixed, we're not taking anything out. Um, and it works, it works for us as a family of four. I'm around five, you know, five, five, six, five, five, five. And um, it works for us, all right? If you're a taller driver, it's not gonna go ahead and be a comfortable ride. But if you have the rear-facing car seat on the passenger side and no one in the back, it's gonna be great. If you have a forward-facing car seat, it's gonna be great, it's gonna work. But for us, I guess this, in a way, with the cargo box and everything, buys us, buys us time so we don't have to search for a new car in this market. However, jumping the gun, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about our plans, I guess. We are looking to upgrade, no immediate um, purchases yet, but we are looking for our next choices. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that later, but uh, overall, this is the car. This is a car, the Pretorias, I'm gonna talk about the cons, I guess. The cons about this is the ground clearance. Uh, it's gonna be a sporty hatch, right? We were, we're not really gonna go ahead and talk about ground clearance or complain about it. But with the ground clearance, with the low profile tires, uh, it creates a, a much more of a harsher ride for the girls. But in a way, uh, they wake up just a little bit. It's not gonna go ahead and bother them unless I hit a really big pothole. Then you have to worry about the tires bubbling and the, the Pretoria is bending and whatnot. So uh, I would like a higher ground clearance car uh, and also uh, thicker media tires. Uh, but not much to really talk about in terms of cons, you know, maybe a limited space, but we addressed the issue with the cargo box. This all wheel drive car, uh, zippy, potentially, depending on how you drive, cons consider a gas friendly vehicle, right? Uh, it's fun to drive, um, performance so at 168 inches in length, you could fit almost any type of parking space in the city. It's just great. Uh, I, I mentioned it before, I doubled down on why this is gonna be the ultimate family car for the city dwellers. I'm gonna triple down on it and say this will be one of the best cars that you, you, you have right now. And as always, thank you for watching this uh, multiple series of me transforming the golf hatchback from a performance hatch to more of a performance dad hatch. And uh, as far as that goes, this is it for me today. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.